six months house arrest. What? At my house. Oh, okay. Don't. I know my parents loved me. Oh, stand beside me, don't me. You know? Baby, please! Please! I do! Six seasons, 144 episodes, a cultural masterpiece, and at the heart of it all, Dwayne Wayne. I am an educated black man, your worst nightmare, punk. A terrible flirt and mathematician with his flip-up glasses who stole the limelight. And who do we have to thank for it? Kadeem Hardison. Hardison brought his unique flair to a different world. But the question is, did that spark for the camera fizzle out down the line? Did he hang up the glasses and drive off into the sunset with his wife and kids? Or... Did he carry his mom's legacy as a runway model and switch to fashion? Well, here's what happened to Gadim Hardison from everyone's black favorite sitcom. But first, a little backstory. Whatever it is, I will love it. You lie like a rug. Go sit down. Born on July 24, 1965, in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, New York, Kadim was destined to be creative from the beginning. As the only child of Beth Ann Hardison, a high-profile black supermodel, and Donald McFadden, a fine art collector, there was no way Kadim would end up studying math. Oh, and get this, he had the chance to attend junior high school 104 with the likes of Robert Downey Jr. and Erica Gimble. Safe to say, he was born to be an actor. As for his first acting role, Hardison ended up in front of the camera at 14 in an ABC African after school special, The Color of Friendship. He then went on to bag roles in the PBS production, Go Tell It on the Mountain, and The Cosby Show at the age of 17, before finally finding his place on a different world. Now this was Kadim's big break, the show that put him on the map. You are so brave, baby, but really, it'd be safer if I talk to him one on one, it's a man. Fortunately, Kadim did not end up a one-hit wonder following the end of a different world. No financial trouble, no cheating scandals. The closest he came to trouble was the Bill Cosby scandal. Back when the skeletons in Cosby's closet were first exposed, the show found itself on shaky ground. But thankfully, Kadim and the others didn't pay the price for starring in a show developed by Bill Cosby. Because at the end of the day, Kadim had nothing to do with it. Didn't really affect us. He smartly made sure that a different world was filmed on the other side of the country. So so ties were there because mm -hmm. his name was on every yep. episode, but we really didn't have that connection. Aside from that, the end of a different world didn't mean curtains closed for Kadim's career. No, sir. Our man went on to frontline another hit series. If you think Craig Cooper from the Disney Channel series KC Undercover looks a little too familiar, you'd be right. That's our very own Kadim Hardison. Following the end of his adventures as Dwayne, Kadim also brought his acting skills to the likes of Between Brothers and Abby. You can also spot him as a guest star in numerous series like Living Single, Everybody Hates Chris, Parenthood, and Grownish. Heck, he even had a part in The Boondocks, where he played himself. That's 40 years of acting, and it doesn't look like Kadim has plans to retire anytime soon. He was cast in the AMC sci-fi series Moonhaven back in 2022. We're on a whole nother planet in a whole nother time <laughs> frame. But don't worry, Kadim didn't just stay in the TV business. He managed to make it on the big screen. You can catch him in White Man Can't Jump, Blind Faith, Showtime, The Sixth Man, The Lincoln Lawyer, and honestly, a whole lot more. So I suggest you open up his wiki. He even rendered his voice to the role of Cole Freeman in the 2013 video game Beyond Two Souls. No wonder he's sitting on $2 million right now. As for his personal life, Kadim's rocking it up in the singles club. He gave love a shot, but it didn't work out. Kadim crossed paths with the mother of his child, Shantae Moore, in 1993 at a party. And what do you know? Cupid struck during that first encounter. Apparently, Kadim had made a strong impression on Shantae when he shook her hand. Talk about frizz. And if you think that's adorable, wait until you find out how they actually started dating. The pair was supposed to present together at the NAACP Image Awards that year. And when they went backstage to talk to the press, Kadim turned to Shantae and asked her to make an announcement of their own. Now, Shantae had no idea what he was talking about. And when she asked for some clarification, Kadim said, oh, we're getting married. That's what we'll tell them. By the end of the night, the two had planned their entire future together down to how many kids they wanted hope you're taking notes but don't worry these two didn't jump the gun they dated for a few years on the down low keeping their private life out of the spotlight kadim eventually welcomed his baby girl sophia hardison with shantae on september 27 1996 the pair then went on to tie the knot in secret in november 1997 shantae even 
released her biggest hit to date, Shantae's Got a Man, soon after, and it was inspired by, you guessed it, Kadeem Hardison. Between a perfect marriage and successful careers, forever seemed in the cards for these two. Unfortunately, that was not the case. In 2000, Kadeem filed for divorce, seeking joint custody of his daughter. Why, you ask? Well, Kadeem stated irreconcilable differences. Unfortunately, neither of the two spilled the tea on what really went down. The good news is that it wasn't an ugly divorce because Kadeem and Shantae are still friends and the best co-parents Sophia could ask for. Maybe Kanye and Kim could have taken some notes. During an interview with Madame Noir, Shantae talked about how she's still close with Kadeem. When we first met, we fell in love very quickly, but we became friends. He really is my friend. I find him so pleasant to be around. Around. He is hilarious. He makes me bend over and hold my stomach in laughter. He's so naturally funny. However, before Shantae, there was Cree Summer. Yes, you heard that right. Dwayne and Freddie Brooks ended up together in real life. And don't worry, Whitley Gilbert was cool with it. Jasmine and Kadeem's <laughs> characters were coupled up. So were Cree and Daryl's characters. Yeah. But in real life, things were a little different. Oh? Cree and Kadeem, you turned, were a real life item back then. During an episode on TV One's Uncensored, Artisan spilled the tea on how he and Cree ended up together. He said, one night we went out and then we started kissing. And the next thing you know, she told me she's in love with me. And then I had to pretend to be in love with Janine while being in love with Cree. And if you're thinking it ever got awkward on the set. It didn't. Addressing the topic, Kadeem said, that wasn't even my concern then. Dominique, Hoffman, Jasmine's boyfriend, then did some spots on the show. It's like you have your work wife and home wife, but your home wife also happens to work with you. As much as that could have been sticky, they were so in love with each other that it was never an issue. Good God, if you thought Daryl and I were close, he and Jasmine were inseparable. They brought out the silliness in each other. Kadeem and Cree were adorable during their years together. His relationship with Summer was more public. They killed it on the red carpet. And if you look closely, you can catch them sneaking a kiss during the opening for season five of the show. Cree and I, the time we met when she first got cast, we became best friends. We shared a love of comic books and motorcycles. On our free time, me and Cree would be on our bikes, going to comic stores, running around LA, just being geeks. We could have had some real drama on our hands because Kadeem had a crush on co-star Jasmine Guy back in the day. But thankfully, the adults kept their cool. Did either of you ever want to be more than friends <laughs> with I can admit easily that I had a crush on Jasmine the minute I saw her. Unfortunately, it's been crickets in Kadeem's dating life since then. Although, there's rumors going around that he and Cree have rekindled their romance. That would truly be special, huh? But you might want to hear about who he's currently friends with because, guess what? Dwayne's best friend, Ron Johnson, and him are still tight. In fact, if you are looking to watch the iconic pair in action once more, you can catch actor Daryl Bell and Kadeem on Fox's House Husbands of Hollywood. And here's the kicker. Ron is the godfather of Kadeem's daughter. Safe to say, a different world was not a one-time hit for Kadeem. He made a name for himself in the industry, not to mention a lot of money. At the end of it all, Kadeem's Hillman days may be long behind him, but he will always be the jokester with a flip-up glasses. What do you think of his new roles? Do you think he's still got it?